Government protesters have once again poured into the streets. The pro-democracy demonstrators called for a swift fulfillment of their revolutionary goals through escalating peaceful protests and sit-ins. Here's a look. Thousands of anti-government protesters took to the streets across Yemen on Friday, the last day of the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Fitr. Protesters in the capital, Sana'a, said they will not back down until they achieve what they say the revolution's goals. We as revolutionaries are going to continue our protests and rallies, which we started six months ago, until the ouster of the regime's remnants. We promise you that the upcoming days will surprise the regime and the whole world. They said they would soon stage a new round of protests to topple Saleh's regime. Once again, anti-government protesters gathered here in the 60th Street. While they are encouraged by the victory of Libyan revolution, they expressed their eagerness to alter the regime. As the political crisis lingers in Yemen since the eruption of anti-government demonstration in mid-February, the protesters have said in a statement that they will continue their daily protest and rallies until Saleh's downfall. In another demonstration staged by the ruling party, Saleh's loyalists said they would stand against any attempt to drag the country into a civil war. Earlier, Ali Abdullah Saleh called for early presidential elections and has authorized his party to negotiate with opposition parties, foreign ministers of Persian Gulf countries and ambassadors of European countries and the U.S. to put forward an executive mechanism for PGCC's initiative. Saleh came close to signing the power transition deal several times but then backed away. We're committed to our legitimate and constitutional rights. We want the president, who has been chosen by the people in free and fair elections, to continue his presidency until it ends in 2013. However, opposition parties stress that they are against any dialogue with the ruling party until Saleh signs the GCC broker deal and hands over power to his deputy. With armed tribesmen gathering in the capital, Sana'a, the crisis sees no sign of coming to an end, and a civil war is looming in the poorest country in the Middle East. Muhammad Al-Atab, Press TV, Sana'a.